I'm interested. You, you say that um, you followed Lewis um, closely uh, even before you played against him. So is, 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 is that part of the process that you will be watching um, players that, that are of interest to Liverpool, that are of interest in the positions that you want? And, and you, you sort of keep up to date um, even sort of on that basis, like very closely watching players. So we cannot not watch um, all interesting, like closely me or the coaches, our scouts are doing that. That's what we have the department for. Um, and very often we just get a hint that we, we should have a closer look on him or, or him. And we do that and it doesn't mean that he's, he's, uh, he's um, a player for us in the next transfer, we know whatever, but with Porto it's obviously different because um, Pep and Vito, um, I'm not sure if Vito watched probably all Porto games and Pep a lot. Um, and they were really early and told, and told me that that's a very interesting boy there. Um, and we should have a closer look. And since then, we are watching. It's part of the process, of course, watching, but we cannot watch the whole world constantly. As the, but the, the club is pretty busy with that. If there's a good player out there, we know him, and then we still have to make uh, our real talent out there. We know him, and then we just have to make decisions if it's if it's interesting for us or, or not. Do we have someone in position or not? Is some somebody coming up on that position? So do we have a young um, follower on, on, on different positions? These kind of things. And um, that's, the, that's the, the whole process. Thanks, Dave. We'll go to Paul Can Joyce. Ask question, Dave. Did, what's the name of the journalist in Ted Lasso? <laughs> No, he's not going to know the answer to that. Yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> I have no idea. But at least he knows why I ask it. Yes, the haircut is tremendous. Yes. Wow. Congratulations, Dave. As someone, <laughs> as someone who would love to have that much hair, congratulations. <laughs> right, okay. We go to uh, Paul, Paul Joyce. <laughs> yeah, again, how, how would you want um, Savio or Mo or, or Bobby or, or Jota to, re to react to the incoming signing of, of Luis Diaz? Are we seeing the sort of long-term future of Liverpool here with the signing? And and those players, you know, the, the three players with 18 months left on the contract, is, is it a challenge to them in in, a, in some way? Did you forget Bobby Firmino? No, 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 no. He didn't. He said it. No, oh, sorry. sorry. Then. I, I, could, I, I couldn't hear it then. I didn't yeah. hear it. So, um, how sports people react? So, it's first and foremost... Nothing happened apart from we, we we brought a really good player in. So now we really have to work with with Lewis, with all the others, of course, as well, but with Lewis as well. So then we have to see. It's really nice to have these kind of options. So in our set, we, we constantly prepare the, today and then for tomorrow as well. And that's what we do. That's what, what our job has to be. And um, so how the, the boys or the reaction of the of players is always they have to perform on the highest level. That's how it has always to be the case. Our players even when we had injuries and stuff like this, and we had only three upfront available, they, they, they pushed themselves to an extreme extent, um, absolutely all the time. That's why we were pretty successful in the last few years. Uh, but we cannot hope that we can get through this with three or four players or stuff like this. So we need options and we need how all, all development is, is not only, but includes always fresh blood as well. Um, and that's what we did. Uh, with Jogo when he came here, and it was obviously pretty helpful. Uh, and now when, when, when we signed Lewis, it's exactly the same. Players might have plans for, the, for their future, but a club has to, has to be um, ready for pretty much all scenarios. And that's um, what, what we do between playing games all the time, um, thinking about these kind of things. And this club is, is too big. As it would be, it would be would rely on 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 single persons, if it's me or if it's a player or here or there. So we need to be prepared, and the club needs to be prepared um, for all different scenarios. And we feel in a good place in the moment. Fantastic, thanks, Paul. And finally, from this section, Dom King. Before we go to the Sundays, and apologies to the Sundays, I didn't get to the hands of, but we've got the guys in. We can now take Dom. Yeah, you, uh, just a, a, a simple one, really. Um, I know he's not in the, in the building yet, but will will Lewis? Will you consider Lewis to be in the, in the squad on Sunday, or would it be would it be far too soon just for him to be involved in the match day? Or far too soon? I don't know. If he would have been here yesterday and could have trained a little bit, I would have considered it definitely. So now I don't know. 
Give me a give me a second to meet him and ask him how his last two three days yeah. were because it's not, no, it's not I, easy. I, now it's not easy to to sit around in Paris waiting for the papers and stuff like this. It's not the best time of your life. Doesn't help you with recovery from an intense period he had as well with the two games for Colombia. So massive travel, um, all these kind of things. So yeah, let's have a look. I wouldn't say no because I would be excited as well. Um, Giving a few minutes in a sold out Anfield Road is, is nice. Um, but let's see. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Dom. Thank you very much. Right. Okay. So that concludes that. So now for everybody.